Hey everybody, this is Jeff at Build an Aquarium Workshop, and today's episode goes out, is dedicated to anybody who's ever worked in a tropical fish store or a fish section of a pet store. Alright, so in this episode we're going to talk about this cute little goldfish right here, okay, and why you should not put him in this. And yes, we're talking about this this bowl. I almost call it a goldfish bowl, but really it's just a glass bowl. Now, why shouldn't we put that cute little goldfish in this bowl? Well, actually, if you've ever worked in a fish store, if you've ever tried to put a goldfish in a bowl like this, or even a beta, you know that it becomes very, very challenging. Okay? It's probably perhaps the, one of the most difficult things to do. Okay? And the reasons why. Okay, so the first reason why it's very challenging to keep a fish in a small goldfish bowl or bowl is because smaller bodies of water are very unstable. So we're here looking at the kitchen, we're looking at different size pots. So as you can imagine, if I told you, hey, we, on the small pot here, if we put water to boil there versus the big pot, which pot is going to boil First, well, the pretty obvious answer is, is the small pot. The reason for that is because there's less water, okay? Same is true with a goldfish bowl. Okay, so as res with respect to the small amount of water, this bowl probably only holds a couple of gallons of water. Therefore, it's, it's a small body of water, very small body of water, and that makes it susceptible to both water temperature fluctuations as well as water chemistry fluctuations. So as soon as you put a fish in there, you've got to feed it, it's going to go to the bathroom, and the water starts degrading. Now, in a fish tank with a filter, we're able to actually cycle it out, which means that there are bacteria that will culminate or grow and be able to handle the fish's waste. Whereas in the bowl, the waste will build up much too quickly, and when that happens, that the fish more than likely will, if he doesn't die outright, will probably succumb to some sort of disease, usually bacterial infections or parasites, things like that, and then eventually maybe even secondary infections like fungal infections. And now you have a sick fish to treat in a small bowl, which is, again, it's not something you want to do. Medications are expensive, probably more expensive than the fish. Okay, so now, so when someone says, hey, I want to buy a goldfish, or a beta and I want to put them in a little bowl. The beta perhaps would be a lot better and I would still give them a decent sized bowl, um, give, give it a decent sized bowl, whereas the goldfish, I, I wouldn't. Even though some people have quite a bit of success and if they're very successful, best case scenario, that goldfish is gonna grow due to regular water changes. In this case, the bowl, you're changing out the bowl and therefore the fish will grow and outgrow this bowl in a matter of months and you'll be having to put them in a much bigger bowl or a pond or an aquarium which you probably should have bought in the first place so you can buy an aquarium like this on the used market craigslist or facebook i found this one i believe on uh, craigslist and it was 20 gallon complete setup for $60. Now this tank's been around for 10 years, so it was used, but kept in very, very good condition. And so more likely, you know, even a 10 gallon is fine. And so yeah, as a cabinet stand, full fluorescent light, came with the filter, came with the gravel, some came with some decorations, really, really nice. Um, and so you could probably find something for f under $50, which is much better than spending, if you figure, if you go to the fish store, pet store, you're gonna buy one of those bowls and if you have to buy everything, the gravel, the fish, the water conditioner, the food, a net, whatever, you're going to spend about 20 bucks easy. So you might as well spend another 20 or $30, get something really nice like in an aquarium, and then you'll be able to put more than one goldfish in it. Or in this case, or you could, if you put a heater, you could do a beta. You could do a beta with a few community fish um, in there, which would be nice. Um, now in this tank, it's only 20 gallons, so you're not going to get a ton of goldfish. Probably three or four goldfish is about it because you want to accommodate them for room. And we're going to take a trip to the fish store to show you how big goldfish can get. And you will be surprised. Okay, so let's move on to the second reason why you don't want to put this cute little goldfish in a bowl. Okay, so some of you are saying, oh no, you didn't. Yes, the goldfish bowl versus the toilet bowl. Okay, so... 
Reason number two, why you don't want to put fish, or in this case a goldfish, in a small bowl. Well, big difference between the toilet bowl and the goldfish bowl. When the goldfish goes to the bathroom, or the fish goes to the bathroom in the bowl, it sits in there. That's right, doesn't go anywhere. No bacteria have grown to take care of the waste and make it relatively non-toxic. And therefore, you have a fish that is eating and going to the bathroom in this bowl. Versus the toilet. Toilet, you have this right here to flush. So any waste that goes in there gets flushed away. But in the bowl, it doesn't. It stays there. Okay, so that's problem number two. What do we do so that we can take care of that? So the goldfish is in nice clean water. Is you change the water out in the bowl. And that creates a whole bunch of stress okay so let's talk about the next problem with changing water out regularly okay so to change the water out regularly in this bowl you would you would think that hey I can just dump the water out and put new water in and for the most part that's what we do except that as I used to say when I worked in the pet industry water is water is water is water nope sorry folks but water is not the same okay so when we look at these two bottles of water, this one is tap water, and this one is bottled water. Now, if we go around and I say, hey, you wanna drink some water, and drink water out of the tap, okay, the faucet, could be filtered, maybe not filtered, okay, versus bottled water, which is drinking water, versus like, say, maybe distilled water, or when I make RODI water, which is reverse osmosis deionized water, there is a big difference in water chemistry, okay? So water is not the same. So you definitely, the people who are successful with bowls know that there's two things. Consistency really pays off. Number one, use a consistent water source. Always use the same water source. And while you're doing that, you might as well go ahead and have the water ready ahead of time so that it's the same temperature as the temperature in the bowl, which would be room temperature, okay? So if you do wanna be successful with the bowl, that's tip number one. All right, now back to water. The thing with water is, is, is water chemistry, as we talked about, when the, you feed the fish, fish goes to the bathroom, water starts to degrade so fast. So now you have to take and change the water up. Okay, so consistent water source and pre-making the water so that the temperature, so now you got water chemistry taken care of, water temperature taken care of, but you now you have to gently take the fish out of the bowl. So you can use a cup, styrofoam cup, plastic cup, and scoop the goldfish or the fish out and dump the water out, rinse out the bowl, only use water, of course, and then you can, with your pre-made water, go ahead and put the water in. And if, if this is your pre-made water, that's fine, okay? It's probably ready to room temperature. There's no heater involved, so you can just pour that in, and now the, the goldfish or fish is able to go back into water that is very close in water chemistry and very close in water temperature, and you won't stun the fish. Now, scooping the fish out versus netting the fish. If you net the fish, then the problem with that is, is the fish's immune system is its slime coat. So when you net a fish, it's stressful to the fish and a lot of times removes the slime coat, leaving it susceptible for bacterial infections as well as par parasites latching on, okay? So if you can, whenever you can, scoop a fish out, okay, or gently take the bowl and pour it into the other uh, bucket with its own water. Okay, um, and then you can rinse the bowl out with just water. Remember, no soaps, no, no chemicals, nothing like that. Just rinse it out. Make sure you have a scrubber to scrub the bowl if you need to. Get a, a one that doesn't have chemicals or soap in it, okay? And then put the new water in. And then you can gently scoop up the goldfish and put him back in there. And if a little bit of his old water goes in with him, it's not a big deal, it's fine, okay? Because when you scoop water from the top, it's always better than when you scoop water from the bottom in the gravel where there's all the, the debris down there, okay? All right, so hopefully we learned today that, well, it is possible, and there are people who are very successful at putting a goldfish or a beta into a bowl, okay? It is very difficult and the ones that are successful have a consistent routine meaning that they use a consistent water source they change out the water regularly which uh, would be quite often uh, maybe even daily every other day every every third or fourth day depending on the size of the fish 
and the size of the bowl. The smaller the bowl, the bigger the fish, the more you, you feed and the more waste, the more regularly, the more often you're gonna have to change that bowl out, okay? So can you be successful with a bowl? Yes. Now, for most, I've seen when I worked at the fish store, most people who came in and wanted to give their kid a first pet to show responsibility, a lot of times that kid just wasn't interested after say a few days or a week or whatever in the beginning they were fascinated but it wears off it happens sometimes and that's okay but you should still have you can still have a nice showpiece that's good for adults too um, there's benefits of having fish a fish and fish tank around in your office or home um, so <clears throat> if that happens you're going to want to have a fish tank like this okay and so with regards to the bowl i would say probably most beginners most of them fail at keeping a fish in a bowl and those who are successful um, graduate have to graduate the skull fish up because we are going to show you as promised we went to a local fish store and we saw some comets there and in particular one comet to show you how big he is we're at one of the local stores checking out these goldfish the comet goldfish find in the bowls i wanted to show you there's some of these guys is this monster right here look how huge this guy is this guy is let's see that's my hand so yeah a little bigger than my hand massive which is the reason why goldfish i'll compare them to the bottom one really can't be put in bowls for any length of time this is a massive bowl in which case it might as well be a fish tank yep so there he is he is huge i haven't seen a goldfish that big in a long time maybe never usually you're looking at koi and that is a goldfish okay one word of note a lot of times people say well you know hey i thought goldfish grow to the size of their environment so if they are in if a fish like this little guy is in a bowl he's not going to grow very big well let's not count on stunning a fish's growth severely more than likely if you have a 10 inch fish you're probably not going to keep it an inch or two still going to grow but more than likely what's going to happen is is it's not going to make it okay it's not going to survive and then you won't have to worry about that okay and the reason why is because we talked about fish is fish is going to start growing you start feeding it and if you change the water out like you're supposed to then fish is going to grow if you don't fish is probably going to succumb to illness and not make it okay and then you'll be on to you know goldfish number two or goldfish number three and that becomes frustrating because then you know you're teaching a different lesson uh to your kids in life okay if you want some goldfish if you want some fish in general even a beta i highly recommend putting them in a tank the beta is probably the only exception where you can put it in a nice size bowl and get away with it. Um, and again, you're still looking at the same challenges uh, that we mentioned about anything that's not an aquarium, that's not filtered, where you can just do small partial water changes or partial water changes. Okay. And so I hope you like the episode. Give us a like. Uh, please put, feel free to put any comments down below. And again, thanks for watching. And please subscribe to Build an Aquarium Workshop. Thanks and have a great day.